Now I'm going to talk about the Stanford Bennett Intelligence Scale. And you can look below this video. I'm going to post a link to where you can take the test. Um, yeah. So I actually haven't taken the test, but I'll find some time to take it because, you know, why not? Um, this test is very, very cool. What I think is cool about it, like, from the beginning, when I was doing my research, I learned that, um, first of all, it originated from the Bennett, um, I believe, what's it called? The Bennett Simon scale in 1916, which I think it's crazy how something can, like, influence something and then, like, the thing that it influenced is still around today. Like, 1960 was so long ago. That's very cool. Um, but... 1916, my bad. But yeah, um, I think that's very cool. And then another aspect of it that I think is cool is that it's basically the most popular intelligence test today. And I think that, yeah, that's cool. Like, um, the fact that, like, you know, it's used in schools, it's used in the workforce, it's used all around. That's very cool. And, um, even though some, you know, people say that it doesn't really do a good job at, um, with age determining like like where your age range is going to be with um when you take the test so like the Wechsler scales that one is more age focused because there's individual tests that focuses on your age um that's one thing about this test that's like kind of controversial but um yeah I think this test is cool and I will take it one day when I get a chance and so yeah um just click on the link below to take it if you want to take it and um yeah, that's pretty much the highlights of the Stanford Bennett Intelligence Scale, in my opinion.